like are are there any consequences for uh for maybe like a psychologist or a psychiatrist that uh that made a wrong or yeah a, a gravely a very very uh wrong uh what do you call that analysis or uh conclusion and then gave this person maybe uh, well medicine. i can't really answer that because i haven't finished the uh, philippine law school and no, no, american uh, law school no like do they they don't have those things they don't teach that in in oh psych- they don't oh, okay so they don't say like oh if you at do- least not in my college <laughs> so they don't say if that if you make a mistake like you know maybe say someone has a uh, bipolar disorder and then you say they have depression i don't know if that's connected but then maybe because of the depression, you thought they had depression. If, you, if give, you diagnose, yeah, you, what you're there, there, diagnosis. Is if we diagnose, yeah, diagnose, and then of course, give, the, if we give a wrong diagnosis, not just the diagnosis, but the what follows after the diagnosis, right? With the if you're as uh, uh, what do you call that? If you're a, if you're psychiatrist, a psychiatrist giving uh, what medicine, follows is medicine, yeah, with medicine. If you're a psychologist, uh, medicine does not necessarily come into play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So There's if you're what a psych- we call cognitive behavioral therapy. Yeah, yeah. So if you're a psychiatrist and then you have these wrong, uh, wrong diagnoses, I guess, and give the wrong medicine, is like, is there a, uh, is there like consequences that you could face or? No, yeah. What I'm saying is they didn't teach that in okay. college. So they specifically that they don't they don't teach. But they should, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's really it's it, you know. Especially these days, people think about you know mental health a lot. It's it's something that you should really be careful of uh, properly diagnosing. Yeah. Even even online, like again, I guess we're going back to At like the previous point, it episodes. Could cost a life. Yeah, even going back to the previous episodes, we do talk about like you know, a lot of people usually say online that you know, oh, you're depressed or you're you have this disorder. Like a lot of people online, I guess they make their own snap judgments or snap diagnoses. They're I guess. Caring. Yeah. And think that they know they know some people just because of how they see them online, and it's 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 really hard to. Yeah, well, I mean, another one of the negative consequences of psychology being in popular media. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to uh, it's hard to it's hard to separate those things, you know, because uh, a lot of well, especially with with our current generation i guess like a lot of people make jokes about you know uh if you share a lot of memes you have no friends you're depressed or something like that <laughs> like okay i mean i'm just hoping that not on the people who really are targeted by those aren't really taking them seriously like that's like that, that's the the biggest thing that i don't i don't want to happen because <laughs> it's gonna be sad if they if they do and if they do maybe they can think about it more yeah but but you know Internet, in too much consumption of internet can lead to a spiral. What kind of spiral? Well, eventually, if you read enough much of one thing, you might actually believe it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, like, that's when specifically, like, cyberbullying comes in, right? Yeah. When people, uh, when people, uh, you know, say something, they, they don't know those, they don't know usually, like, the weight of their words. When they when they well, well, bully people online, yeah, because it's harder to persecute people online. 